Good morning. It is a day three of Vlogtober. We are still going strong. I have faith that I can pull this through. I did not straighten my hair last night, so that's why it looks like this. Um, usually it kind of gets on my nerves and I don't wear it like this because I think people think I look unkept. Like I just woke up like this. I don't know. But right now it's looking pretty decent, so I'm just going to see how it goes. Um, I'm wearing my glasses too because my eyes have been really irritating me this morning. And to top it off, I decided to stab myself with my mascara. Very graceful. So that's how my morning started. Today, I've got to get the kids ready and off to school. It's picture day, so they actually get excited about it. Um, i got to get them all dressed up for picture day. And then today, I've got lots of things to do around the house and um, some videos to record. So I'm just going to bring you along today. All right, so I am on my way back from dropping off the kids. It was a little hectic. We were running a little tight there. My littlest, um, her hair took a little bit longer to do because I had to straighten it. She has wavy hair like her mama. So I had to do that. And so we were running a few minutes behind, but they're fine. They're in school, they're happy, all is good. And I'm about to go inside and start my day. So I have a few things going on today. My house is an absolute wreck. And I probably should have cleaning my house as priority number one. I need to return some shoes that don't fit my son. I bought them a couple weeks ago and I haven't been able to get back and return them. So I need to get that out of the way. Um, also, I need to go to Home Depot because I got a few things I need to pick up just to finish some projects. Also, I ordered my kids costumes and I got the little Baby Yoda one in and the other two are coming in. My oldest daughter will need her costume modified. My oldest daughter has always been really high maintenance when it comes to Halloween costumes. And I actually love that she's high maintenance about it. She's very particular about her costumes. And I've always just kind of made sure that she just, you know, goes all out and has a great time. She's the kind of girl who will pick a character and be like, I wanna be that and I'll have to replicate it usually because most of the time we cannot find her costumes anywhere or the ones that are available in that character are just not very nice. In previous years, I've done stuff like Officer Judy Hopps from scratch. I've also did Jayla from Star Trek from scratch. And this year we're doing the Mandalorian theme and unfortunately they don't have the blacksmith Mandalorian, the one who used to do their armor in the series. And so I had to get a Mandalorian costume for like boys because that's the only one they had. And now I'll have to take that and modify it so that it fits her character. My son's going to be the Mandalorian, she's going to be the blacksmith one. Um, and so I have to look at the costume and see what I can do to make it look more like the girl version that was on the series. Um, but yeah, it's, it's always fun because she takes her costumes very seriously and I, I I love that about her and they're not always princessy costumes. I also have a few people interested in taking a look at the table today that I'm selling on Facebook Marketplace so I am hoping that it pans out and you know somebody buys it today or at least in the next couple days so I can get it out of my entrance of the house because it's kind of weird having two tables there. I'm actually wearing my little fall cardigan that I just purchased this year. It's a little bit chilly outside in the mornings and I love that. But it's so strange when you wake up like really cold weather and then in the afternoon you're wearing like t-shirts. We're in that season where you have like that flip-flopping of the weather. I have to also put the kids karate uniforms in the wash. I have some DIYs to make for my other channel and I have another video to edit. So it's gonna be a very busy day. So let's get to it.
so these are the shoes that we bought our son but turns out the kid is not a size one anymore he's a size two <laughs> which is a shame because these were so nice but it's okay we already got him another pair of shoes and he's using them just fine so i'm just going to go ahead and return these Also yesterday, bringing that table in, it's so heavy and um, I got a bruise on my arm and I think underneath my bicep when we were trying to bring it in, but yeah, that happened bringing in my table yesterday. So this is the um, Baby Yoda costume that the little one is going to be wearing and um, <laughs> Yeah, she is so excited about this thing. And these ones also came in. So this is what the Boy Mandalorian looks like. And the girl one, I'll show you guys a picture in just a second. But she was a little different. She actually had like maybe bronze on the chest. And her helmet was gold. And she also had like a fur cape. And it was I think a little bit shorter than this one. Maybe about halfway. I have to look at the pictures really good, but I'll have to be modifying um, Natalia's costume so that it looks more like the girl Mandalorian. The helmets are actually pretty cool. Can't wait to get those out and um, see what they look like on the kids. So this is what the girl Mandalorian looks like. She's got like a gold helmet and kind of a bronze looking uh, chest piece. She also has that fur cape that I was talking about and her helmet has a couple of little like ears on the top of it. I don't know if I'll be able to make that but but I kind of want to get some paint for her helmet and then I know I have paint here that might work for the chest piece to get it that color so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing. The I think the most difficult part is going to be finding something faux furish to put on the back of her costume. All right, so before I headed out, I looked in my garage to see if I had a stash of paint. I found this one, but this one's just too light and metallic. It's not going to work for the helmet. This one, I don't have a lot of. And when I was looking at the costume, this part right here is supposed to be like armor, but the costume, it's kind of like stuffed. Um, fabric like it's thicker and it's bulky but it's still fabric at the end of the day so I'm not gonna be able to use spray paint on it because it'll get all crunchy and stuff so I'll have to see if maybe I can find some craft paint that'll go over fabric in that color now this one might be able to work for her helmet I'll see if I can find anything else that's a little bit darker I'm telling you the girl is really into her costumes so if I can get like a darker deeper one I probably will go ahead and get that um, plus these are pretty old. I don't know if they'll come out good or not. So, yep, still in search of paint. My stash is not going to work. Okay, so it's about 930 and I haven't heard from the lady who was supposed to be here this morning to see the table. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head out and I'm going to go ahead and return those shoes and go to Home Depot to see if I can get some paint for Natalia's Mandalorian helmet and a couple of other things that I need in order to finish some DIYs. Remember, I did that platter for the wall and I need a few more dowels to keep the plates in place so that they don't slip. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those dowels. We probably could make them on our own, but at this point, I just don't see the time and I could just drop by Home Depot, which I have to go do anyways, and get a few of them. They're only about a dollar and a few cents a piece anyways. I'm gonna get that done and then I'm also gonna get some furniture markers because I can't find the ones that I used to have and um, the table that we bought has a couple of little pieces where like it just kind of chipped off a little bit or it's got a little scrape and I always like to have furniture markers on hand because in case you do ever get a little nick on something you can cover it up so easily I also have some furniture of my own that I've had for a while that I want to cover anyways. And the table that I am selling has a couple of little nicks as well. And whenever I sell something on Facebook Marketplace, 
I honestly like to make it look as nice and as clean as possible. I know not everybody does that. I actually like to go that next step and make it look as pristine as possible. First of all, because just for me, I like to make sure I sell things that are nice and it makes selling of items on Facebook Marketplace a lot easier. If there's something that needs to be cleaned, wiped down, shined, um, buffed, I'll do it because when people come in and they see it looking so good, there's nothing they can say that say, oh, well, I'm not gonna buy it because it looks like this, or I didn't notice this in the pictures, I'm not gonna buy it, or it also prevents them from you know, giving you a new offer that's less. So usually when I do that, it's pretty easy. They come in, look at the piece, it looks great, and it's an easy sale. All right, so I'm back at home and I got a couple of finishing markers. I got this one for this table and I got this one for this table. I'm hoping it matches, but if you can see, it's just, just got little things like this that I kind of like to color in. I'm hoping they'll work really well and this table it's just got little things like this that I like to cover and make look a little bit nicer. But again, this is just normal wear and tear that, you know, tables get over time. So I have this little white scuff mark right here. I'm trying to see if I can get rid of that. Let's see if it works. It's like paint from one of the chairs. Oh, look at that, it's coming off. Sweet. I'm just using a little bit of Goo Gone to get some paint off. Seems to be working. So I was cleaning out some papers in the kitchen area and I came across this and it just put a huge smile on my face. Um, as you all know, this is Hispanic Heritage Month and my little one and my son are both in a program at school where they're actually taught in English half a day and in Spanish the other half of the day. It's a great program. Unfortunately, my oldest doesn't get to participate because they started at the age group when my son was in school, but she knows quite a bit of Spanish. Um, and the other two encourage her all the time because they're always learning stuff at school. But if you guys don't know, Celia Cruz was a Cuban um, singer <laughs> and um, she passed away not long ago. And they were learning about her and this is just such a cute picture. This is what my littlest did as far as coloring her in. And here is one of my son's assignments. It's just nice to see Spanish in their work and them actually learning different things formally in school rather than just speaking it at home. So I ended up purchasing this one at Home Depot and it's darker than the other three right there. So I think it'll look really nice on the helmet. I got this one for the fabric. I need to see the actual um, armor on the character is a little bit more 
like a darker bronze looking color and this is a little bit gold still so I might have to go back out and see if I can go somewhere else maybe Hobby Lobby has something with a different tint I also picked up um, a couple of different small stains this one right here looks really pretty I have a project that I need to do right before I share my full kitchen reveal and I'm trying to select a stain for it and I kind of want something lighter I really like this one but I don't know if it's gonna be too gray which is why I got a couple of these maybe I need to mix it and then I got me a clear coat just a natural clear one in case I need to maybe water it down because it might be too um, dark so I gotta do a little bit of testing with these and see what I can come up with. Next, I'm gonna go outside really quick and I'm gonna take these off and give them a quick stain so that hopefully maybe tonight we can install this on the plate rack. So right now I'm again sitting in the car rider line. I finished staining the dowels. I did some DIY work that I needed to do for a video and I was filming myself doing that. I have several people interested about the table. I'm trying to see if somebody can pick it up tonight. We'll see how that works out. Fingers crossed that it does. Um, and right now I'm enjoying the sound of children playing outside at recess. They're still at recess. That's how early I have to be here. Um, but it's been a beautiful sunny day as you can see. It has been so nice outside. There is not one cloud in the sky. I'm gonna go back and make dinner. I think we're making quesadillas tonight. The kids really love it. We totally missed Taco Tuesday this week. So it looks like we're gonna do it today, Taco Thursday. Hey! <laughs> so this is the book, Hold On But Don't Hold Still. It's by Christina Kuzmik. You might see her on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. And it's so good. I'm almost done with it. She shares a lot about situations in her life and how things weren't going so well and how they turned out. Sometimes as moms, we're always second guessing ourselves or we think we could be better or we should have done this or we should do that or we're always trying to better ourselves, I guess. And you can totally relate to her in this book and definitely one of the best books that I have bought in a long time. I'll link to it below if you guys want to check it out, but I almost probably got to read it again because some of the things that she says I wouldn't mind hearing all over again but yeah sometimes I don't feel like I'm doing things right and then I read this and it's okay it's okay so tonight I'm making quesadillas I have our tortillas I have the pico de gallo that I make pretty much every week I have a recipe on my blog and as well as my other channel I can go ahead and link to it if you guys want um, and I use this cheese this quesadilla cheese it definitely melts a lot better than other cheeses, so I have that usually. I buy one a week because we love our cheese. I got the hot pan right now heating up and we're actually gonna have our quesadillas with ground beef. So I also have a little bit of rice on the side that gives like rice with our quesadillas, so that's what I am gonna do now. All right, kids are fed, they're bathed, and now they're in bed, which is why I'm talking so quietly. <laughs> So with that, I am gonna go ahead and call this a vlog, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, adios.